Hey there, welcome to the Proud Animator YouTube channel. So, in this video, we are going to animate this gun man in After Effects. This is a very simple and easy to do animation. Even if you are a beginner in After Effects, you can do it by yourself. So, we are also going to cover the basics as well. So, follow along with the lesson. So, first of all, let's jump on to Illustrator and let's see how I have separated the layers of each of the body parts. So this is the illustration and this is how I have separated the layers. I have separated the finger in a separate layer so, so that I can move it individually and even the forearm is in a separate layer, arm is also in a separate layer even for the other side and also I have separated the chest layer and there is a hip layer as well and also thighs and each of the shapes I have separated individually like this and these two are in also in a separate layer because if we want to move it later on then we can have we do have an option so that we can if we want to rotate this foot like this we can do that if we want to and also the whole gun is in a single layer because nothing in this uh, there is nothing in this gun which needed to move in, in independently so that's why and also you can check that there is there are few dots over here or few small circles over here so this is nothing but the reference and we are going to use it for rigging purpose because uh, when are we when we are going to put the structure layers we are going to just take in reference of this particular circles so we are going to see mo more about this in after effects so this is how I have separated the layers, even the mouth portion, the beard is in a separate layer. Even this one, this lip is in a separate layer. So that is how I have separated the layers in Illustrator. Now let's jump onto After Effects and start with the rigging process. Okay, so right now we are inside of After Effects. Now, first of all, I'm going to click on the reference layer and just convert it into a shape vector layer okay and i will delete this illustrator file okay right now i'm going to select all the layers of the head uh, let's check it out if everything is selected yeah so we are going to pre-comp everything so right now i'm going to change the position of the anchor point the head and I'm going to place it somewhere around here so that the head rotates from this particular point and then I'm going to change the anchor point of this neck okay so right now we are going to parent head with neck neck with chest and chest with hip and I'm going to change the anchor point of the hip and I'm going to move it somewhere around here Oh, and right now we are going to rig the start with the rigging of the arm then we are going to proceed with the leg as well okay so for that I'm going to use Duig Bezier 2 so first of all click on here and after that I'm going to select the arm structure layer okay I'm going to select all the structure layers and put it above the arm itself Okay, I'm going to select all the arm illustrator layers and the reference layer and solo it and I'm going to place the structure layers with the help of this particular reference point and I'm going to put the hand somewhere over here because so uh, here the forearm and the hand is in a single shape and I'm going to put this somewhere over here okay. now let's parent arm with uh, this arm forearm with forearm and I'm going to parent finger with hand Oh, right now I'm going to select all the structure layers and let's rig it so for that I'm going to select on auto rig oh, right now it's rigged perfectly all right let's unsolo it and right now we are going to parent the gun with this hand controller so that if we move the hand the gun should move together perfect we are going to do the same with the forearm and the arm I mean the hand of the other side as well so let's do that Okay, so the second arm is also rigged, but we are going to parent this with the gun. So if we move this particular hand, 
both the hand move together perfect and right now i'm going to select this arm structure layer and the both the arm structure layers and parent it with chest okay now just select all the structure layers so for that click on here this create structure layer and then select select structures all the structure layer will be selected and i'm going to turn off the visibility and shy it out turn on this one perfect and right now let's proceed with the rigging of legs as well so for that i'm going to first of all select the thigh one put two and this one as well as the reference and shy it out I mean solo the layers and this time around we are going to select the leg structure layer okay right now i'm going to put the thigh over here this one over here this around here and we can just put this all this structure layers anywhere we want or if we want we can put over here it will doesn't matter over here because the foot will not move in this particular animation perfect right now i'm going to parent this one with this one this one with this one and this one with this one all right so i'm going to select all the structure layers and click on auto rig perfect and now it's rig so right now i'm going to select the thigh and parent it with hip okay so right now we don't need to see these structure layers anymore first of all solo unsolo all the layers and i'm going to turn off the visibility of the structure layers and shy it out and we are going to do the same for the other leg as well so let's do that okay so all the arms and the legs are rigged right now okay now we don't need this reference anymore so let's delete this and let's open the head layer head composition window and here we are going to parent the lower teeth with this lower lip upper teeth with this upper lip and we are going to parent this upper lip sorry the lower lip with the beard and let's parent uh, the mouth with the upper lip oh so right now if we just move the beard it will look like it is just opening and closing its mouth all right now let's proceed with the animation so first of all let's check yeah everything is looks okay so we can proceed with the animation but i want to do one thing we can just select this hand layer and also parent it with hip so if we move the hip everything moves together okay now i'm going to put a rotation on rotation keyframe on hip and open the position property and put a keyframe okay now i'm going to jump on to next six frames and let's just bend it down a bit it's anticipating to shoot the gun and let's rotate it as well now let's jump on to next eight frames and just pull it above and i'm going to rotate it in the opposite side okay now it's going to shoot so this is where it's just shoots the gun so after the shoot there is some recoil so i'm going to jump on to next five frames and move it backwards this motion will happen very fast and also rotate it again further to around eight and again jump on to next five frames and i'm going to copy this and paste it over here now let's copy and paste it another time and i'm going to reverse the keyframe order because we have copied and pasted it simply in this way so we need to reverse it to get another look so let's check our animation yeah it's looking pretty nice so i'm going to ease it a bit we can simply uh, speed it in this particular position so right now i'm going to jump on to five frames uh, let's move this keyframes and then again jump on to eight frames or rather six frames and uh, let's move the keyframe and now let's check it out it's looking much better so we are going to also add some movement in the chest and neck as well so for that we are going to add only rotation to it so i'm going to select all these three and put a negative two 
then at this particular point let's put four and i'm going to put three and three over here and i'm going to move it rotate it further and let's copy this keyframes okay let's easy is it now let's check it out okay so right now i'm going to add rotation to the hand as well so we, if we rotate the hand the gun will rotate so that's why all right let's check our animation yeah it's looking pretty nice and let's add some rotation to this finger and let's move its anchor point so open the rotation and position and put a keyframe and it will just start moving when it shoots so at this particular point okay now let's easy easy it and check our animation perfect so right now what we are going to do is we are going to add some animation to the this particular beard if we move this mouth will animate as well so let's just add keyframe only on the position property and at this particular point again then i'm going to open this open the mouth slightly at this particular position Perfect. and at this particular point it shoots so it will also open its mouth up perfect and at this particular point it will slightly close so there will be some shakiness that will happen with the mouth so i'm going to copy and paste this position and let's copy the initial position okay now let's check our animation okay we can do one more thing we can add some shakiness to the gun so for that we are going to move this gun or rather we are going to add some movement to the hand as well so when it shoots at this particular position we are going to jump on to next two frames and open the position property and also put the position keyframe over here and at this particular point let's just and again at this particular point pull it down so we are going to copy it again so let's check our animation okay i think it's too much so let's pull it down a bit we just need to pull this particular keyframe down now let's check our animation perfect we got what we needed so let's put the keyframe in the initial position as well all right now let's add the loop expression after that we are going to add some follow through to it so the loop expression is loop in plus loop out minus value okay now we are going to paste it in all the properties now we are going to offset it and this time we are going to start with the hand so with respect to the hand let's unselect and i'm going to jump on to next two frames and offset all the other keyframes by two frames then again i'm going to deselect this hip and again jump on to next two frame and pull it back okay finger should move together with the hand now i'm going to deselect the chest as well and let's offset the neck by two frame and same with the head after that we are going to offset the face perfect now let's check our animation perfect it's looking pretty nice now we only need to add some fire to it so for the fire animation i have created few shapes over here in illustrator as you can see with all by using rounded rectangle and just merged it with the shape builder tool so 
we are going to use this shapes for animating the fire so let's do it so right now we are inside of after effects again and we have already opened the fire window over here we are going to use the shape to animate the fire by the way if you want to learn the basics of flat style design in adobe illustrator do check out the link in the description or you can go to on the i button on the top right corner you can get the lessons so go check out if you want to learn the basics of flat style design so let's proceed with this one okay so first of all i'm going to select the number one layer and i'm going to move the anchor point at the corner somewhere around here same with the other ones so after that we are going to jump on to the next frame and just cut this one like this and after that just sequence it like this okay now if we just check how it looks it's already looking like a fire animation so right now we are going to again move this to two frames and here i'm going to add a circle and i'm going to put it over here and let's open the scale property and also the opacity okay so right now we are going to jump on to next two frames again where this particular animation ends and here we are going to scale it up a bit okay and let's turn off the opacity and here we are going to scale this down to yeah 40 perfect now we are going to add some glow effect so type glow in effects and presets panel if you don't see it over here then come over here in windows and find it over here and tick it your effects and presets panel will pop up so type in glow and we are going to apply this glow effect so select the layer and double click on it okay so right now we are going to add threshold to 20 and radius to 150 perfect right now we are going to copy this glow effect and paste it in all these layers and for this ones the threshold should be 50 all right now we are going to move this okay now let's check our animation yeah it's looking pretty nice i think we can make it more orangish or uh, more yellowish so it would look better so let's check animation yeah it's looking pretty nice right now we are going to place it over here at this point where it's firing at this particular point so open the project and i'm going to put the fire composition layer below the gun and just turn on the rasterize this one after that i'm going to put it over here perfect now we are going to parent this one with the gun and at this particular point let's split the layer so the shortcut key for splitting is ctrl plus shift plus d so again i'm going to just move this head to the start so that after where wherever we put this layer it should uh, the animation should start from the uh, from zero in the timeline of that particular composition so from at this point there is another fire and here is another fire okay so let's check our animation yeah it's looking pretty nice so like this you can animate a gunman animation so hope you liked it and enjoyed a lot and learned from it so if you have any doubt do comment down below i will be happy to help you out and definitely try it on your own and let me know how it turned out so if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates until then goodbye